nature of Krishna. So he was totally offered to Krishna. Taranara. And high class of the devotee. So he has no desire for wealth and reputation, position or anything. He can, but anyhow, he was married with a very uh, high class of taste, beautiful lady. Who was she? Daughter of Garchacharya or Mathura. He married her daughter to this Sudama Vitra. So she was very beautiful, young lady, and very chaste, and he was Pati Brata. Chastely. But you know that he never wanted any earth. He has no nothing to do for money. No material. So he used to do bhajan daily. Only bhajan and bhajan. But he will have to maintain his wife. How he can? Sometimes he used to bake something. But totally he was. Ananasyantayanto mangi jana parjishma te samaham nitya yuvi abhijuktanam jo kishen. So, he never used to go to bake something to others. Anyhow, very easily what comes, used to come, and he was satisfied with it. So in very short time, they became old. His wife oh, became old, lean and thin, the skeletal was there, lies are her husband. She was very worried to maintain his wife, uh, his husband, hmm? because he has no chesta. No. no desire. Hmm. So he was always used to chant and remember Krishna, reading books. So he had no time at all to do all this. So his wife was so worried. How to maintain my husband? Is something begging, coming easily? She so used to go very small quantity. And he used to offer to his husband. And he, knowing that it is very small, he used to take only half or less than half himself, and he used to keep for her, his wife. So becoming more and more weaker and weaker and old. Now her breast became dry. His stomach went on back. Hmm? She became old. He was very worried to maintain his husband. But he was always engaged in bhajan sadhana. Hmm. One day she came. She was also very qualified. The, son, the daughter of Garga Char, you know how she was famous. Astrologer, best astrologer in the world, whole world at that time. She came and trembling like Kampi Hui. Trembling. And somewhat very polite. She told the Prabhu, I know that you have no desire any worldly thing. Always you are engaged in sadhana bhajan. How to maintain this family? Now you are family person. So you should look after. Otherwise we will die. So I manage that. I know that Sri Hari, 
the king of Dwarka. He has so much affluences. And he is Brahmanya Dev. Very, very much honor for Brahmin. And you are not only Brahmin, Brahmin and also friend of Dwarka Dev. I want you to go there. Don't talk, beg anything from him. He will see, and automatically he will give you everything. And she requested again and again. So he was now thinking that, what should I do? I should go to Dwarka and break something for my mental. Oh, that I cannot do. But she is requesting again and again. So I must go there and the fruit will be there. What? Or break the tassam of, oh, not Dwarka this only. Huh? The Supreme Lord. Anyhow, this will be my fortune. So I must go. But I will never beg anything. <laughs> no money, no sampat, no art, nothing. He decided. And then told that, oh, oh, what? Arya. Arya. As this is Indian. Eh? Address, Arya. Oh, <coughs> Arya. You should give me something, presentation that I may give him. Because it is reg rule, regulation, process that way. If anyone goes to any friend, he should take something, presentation. So, I want some. Can you give me? Oh, she saw that nothing was there in his house. Nothing, totally nothing. No mice even there. <laughs> Where mice? There is no rice to come on. Oh, no rice. <laughs> so rich you don't know what is <laughs> but we know <laughs> so and she binded it in any dirty cloth she saw and he took and he went to Dwarka from morning he was Walking, walking, and in evening he reached there. Oh, by the help of a stick. And he reached Dwarka and he, oh, where to go? Oh, each print of Krishna, 16,108 prints, good palaces. Where to go? Where now Krishna? How he can search? So he went first. But he did Dori, second, third, fourth. Dori means? Door. In King's Castle, so many palaces. So he crossed first, second, third. But now he was thinking where to go. Then he asked anyone, he told, Oh, we, you must go to Rukmini house, Rukmini palace. He may be there. And they took me. When he went to the door, from far, far away, Krishna was in the palace of Rukmini. He saw. And at once run, weeping and embraced. There was so much in, in the, his teeth, cracks. 
also dirty was there. Cloth not well dressed because it is poor. No need was poor. Uh, but he was the richest person. Why? He had no desire. Those who are like, like the president of America, what is Both. Both is most poor person. Oh. Why? He had so many desires. So many desires. Also, before him, Clinton, a most poorest person. <laughs> Myself, a richest person. <laughs> Maharaja. <laughs> worldly desire. My desire is transcendental. <laughs> oh. Anyone can give, cannot give in this world. My Guru Dev and our good pastor, oh, Guru Parampara, they can give. So, but he was externally poor, looks like poor, but he was not poor because he had no desire at all. I request you all that you don't have any worldly desire. Other way you'll be cheated. Don't have any desire. Only desire to serve Krishna. By this you can be happy. Otherwise. So he, he had no desire. So Krishna embraced him and took him to the palace of Rukmini. And as an elder brother, he requested, he honored so much. And he told that you should sit here and took him and sit here. Now, this poor Brahmin, dirty cloth and so on and so on, and he sat on the palanquin of Arukmini. Not so many palanquins. And Krishna with him brought water pot and water. Oh, very fragrant. And with tear mixing, he washed the feet of that Brahman. The queens came there and saw that what doing this Krishna? What relation? And he is watching Krishna feet. They began to with Shama. Oh. And they were looking by after the Chaki Thopas they cried. After washing and Krishna gave Tambul Vitika. Tambul Vitika, you know, better than it. And he gave so many things. And very delicious preparation he offered. And with love and affection he was, oh, more the chutney, this malpua, khee, and so many things he was giving. After that he messaged his feet, talking so many things. Now this Brahmin has some doubt whether he recognizing me that I am that very poor Sudama uh, studying in the Gurukul or no. So Krishna knew this, his doubt, and began to tell, Oh my dear Sattha, you remember that one day when it was a rainy day and also very cold day. There was no dry wood for cooking. So God Mother said that you should bring and we went in the forest and oh it began to rain very heavily. We collected some wood but it was so much rain that everywhere water and water, ocean of water flooded so much that we can, could not decide that where, how much water is. 
So whole night we march. Second, we heap up bundle of stick on head, bow. Oh, trembling. <laughs> so cold. When morning came, sun came. Oh, Gurudev came sun deepening. Oh, my dear sons, where? Where Krishna and Sudama, where you are, where you are. Eh? And they told that, oh, we are here. Hmm? Why you are here? Hmm? And then he came near her. And he was weeping and told that, oh, I am very much satisfied. A disciple shall serve Gurudev like this. Any disciple should serve his Gurudev like this. You have taught me, I am now satisfied. All, all learning of Veda, archery and 64 kinds of art, all should come in your heart and you should be perfect. And he did like so and everything came automatically. You remember? Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh. Then he doubt when whole night talking and it became morning. Oh, Sudama told that, oh, my Grihini will is waiting for me. Now I feel. I'm very happy to meet you. You remember everything. So I want to return back to my home. Krishna told that, oh, very good. He gave nothing. Oh, one thing. I forget. And after, before taking prasadam, he told to Sudama, my dear Shakha, I know that my sister, sister-in-law, uh, Sister in love, Bhavi, has sent something for me. And you have brought. But why you are not giving? Uh, guitar slow. Patram pushpam, phalam soyam, jeme bhaktya prayachati. Prachatam. Who has love and affection for me? Even flower, even leaf, anything he gives, patram, pushpam, phalam, toyam, even water he gives with a love and affection. I very happily, with satisfied, I take it. But I don't take those who have false ego, like those Jodhan and others. I'm I quarrel and forcibly I take from devotees, like Mahaprabhu took from Sridhar Kola. So he told, so I like your this presentation. And forcibly he, he took from here, he has, here he has, and he took, and he took one handful, one handful he took. And one second he was going to take, oh, Rukmini, Sachabhama, they stopped. Don't take, Prabhu. What will you give? You have given everything. Now you want to give us to? <laughs> so you should trust me. And he was, Sudama was free. But he never gave anything. After that, they slept. And in morning, he told that I want to go return back. He came with Brahmin up to border. He followed. And he gave nothing, a single five star But he was thinking, oh, my Prabhu is so merciful that he never gave. According to me, other I will be, have so many false ego. So he's very kind to me. And thus thinking, thinking, he came to his house in the evening. 
And he was searching this house. Where is my house? Oh, my house was here. But here, oh, 16,000, eight palaces, royal palaces are there. And so many biman, biman means airplanes are here, very glittering of gold and diamond. And so many, I have had one cow, like old. And now I'm saying, calm then. So many. Also I see horse. Elephants, horses, and all everything. Why it can? Why? Each quint of Krishna. Yet one one. So one one elephant, so many elephants. So many horses, so many cows, so many carriers, so many oh, aeroplanes and so many things. And cows come then. What became of his wife? A wife became very skinny as a teenager. Teenager. <laughs> teenager. Very beautiful. Most beautiful. And thousands and thousands of maid servants be expert in everything. And now she became old. She, who, who was now old, now she became. How is it become? Krishna gets if anyone wants a little. But he gave much more than he wanted. He never wanted this. But he gave. But, so he was now thinking what he became after that. He was waiting. Oh Krishna, I will forget you. So he had no taste for all these things. As he was before, he was without entangled in all these things. And he was doing bhajan like before. When he came there, his wife with so many shakhis, dasi, medsharmi, singing, well decorated, very kishori, she came with a pot to Arati. And he was saying, who are they? <laughs> His wife recognized him because he was in the same state, home. But he could not because form was changed. Now she was so beautiful. <laughs> so, oh, when they were coming nearby and he was going by. Why they are coming to me? <laughs> because he could not recognized. And after that she embraced him and did arati. Then he knew. She told that, oh, I am your same wife. Oh, now when she embraced and he became also. Then he was waiting bitterly that, oh, Krishna, how you did? How you did? Miracle. You get so much. How I will Digest, I will forget your bhakti. But anyhow, he never forget. He was like same as before. I told that, Je Jathang Maam Prabhupadam, the Krishna gets so much. But, you know, Krishna sent some ornaments through Nand Baba to Jasoda Mother. And what became? Oh, always reminding Krishna, she used to weep bitterly. Oh, Krishna cheated me, cheated us. Yes, and ornament. By ornament, oh, Vasudeva and Devaki has purchased Krishna and thus weeping always. So these ornaments and wealth cannot satisfy any bhakta of Krishna. He cannot give anything in to repay Gopi. Gopi around. You know one uh, lady of Mathura, Kubja. She was very attached to Krishna when she saw. Krishna took his what? 
Chandra. And for this, what he gave? Oh, she became very old. All she took like this, and she became oh, very beautiful. But she wanted to enjoy with Krishna. For a moment, Krishna uh, fulfilled his desire. And that is why she came in like a naika. What kind of sadharani naika? She became. Not like Gopi Samartha. Huh? Oh, if anyone wants to serve Krishna, but desire to enjoy, enjoy himself, then that devotee is not qualified. Any gopi, they have no worldly desire or anything from Krishna. And Krishna cannot repay them. But for Kuvya, oh, she wanted something. What option? So she is not qualified like Gopi, even not like uh, wind. So we should know that object. This frame, even Sudama frame is not perfect. It is not our object because Krishna gave him so much things. But Gopis cannot take. So we should know. Our object should be what? Prem Priyajan, but Prem like Gopi. So having this object, we should try to follow this way. From tomorrow, we will explain this process. Adho Shraddha. Sadhu Bhajana Kriya, Anarthana Vritti and Dasha. From tomorrow, from Bhajan Dasha. Go, Pramani. साथ तो होंगे, किंतु पुराने कपड़े क्या साथ होंगे? He has no price to, and he has no no desire to bring new cloth or anything, and he could not, because he has no effort for this. So not you think that oh dirty so much, but anyhow they are old and old and old. Hare Krishna, so some devotee has requested again for initiation. So initiation will be tomorrow again, 8.30 a.m. in Gurudev Bhajan Kuti, room number 242. And whoever wants initiation, please register your name with Jagmohan Prabhu. And fire sacrifice will be here, headed by Pundar.